guys, and thanks a lot for listening to this video in which I'm going to show you how to run a unit proof test in panel data analysis using eViews. Unit proof test in panel data analysis is not fundamentally different in eViews according to the, the procedure. So the difference uh, is on the different methods that are used in order to test for unit proof. So the first step is to open a series. For example, I have a action red right here. I just open my series to make a unit roof test. I just need to go on view. Then I click on unit roof test. So in unit roof test, the first thing to do is to choose for uh, the different the, the, the test type. So you go in this type, in this tab, you have a wide range of tests that are used in order to uh, see whether or not there is a unit roof in this in series uh, using uh, EVU. So we have Living Lean Shoe, Friend to Tung Test, Impetaram and Shoe, Fisher Augmented Gifula, we have uh, Philippe Perron, Fisher Philippe Perron, and we have Hard Retest. So for example, if I'm going to run Impetaram Shield Test, so I just, I just click on this option, select the individual unit of test of Impetaram Shield. So uh, by default value of S4 units value is at level. So level is we have also first different and second difference test, but we will keep first different for example is used one series is not stationary and level and we uh, search for the level of stationary and we can run first different test. So if uh, first different test lead to the conclusion that the series is not stationary at first difference, we can run second difference test. So for now we will keep first difference test and we have to uh, include in our equation individual intercept and trend for Pizalan Shin test. So we we'll keep for now individual intercept in our test then click on OK. And we can see that according to Impezalan Shoot test, our series is channel red is stationary because our p value is less than 5%. So less than 5% means that we reject the null hypothesis, which is there is a unit roof in our series. So rejecting the null hypothesis of unit roof means that our series is stationary. When we consider a 5%, even the 1% level, we can consider that our series is stationary. So let's look, for example, at augmented decay fuller Fisher test, and then we click on OK. We can see that Fisher sky square show that our series is stationary at level. So let us look at export, for example, the series export, then open the series, go on view, read roof test, and then click on this around him show, for example, shin, uh, for example. So then we click on OK. And we can see that our p value is 1, meaning that our series, we cannot reject the null hypothesis, meaning that we accept the null hypothesis of the presence of unit proof in our series. So we should look at second difference S in order to uh, determine the level of integration. So we go on view, unit proof test, uh, first difference, we select first difference, and then click on OK. And we can see that the p value is less than 5% meaning that we reject no hypothesis that series have a unit proof, meaning that series is stationary at first difference. So that's it for this video, and we hope I have helped you understand how to run unit proof and interpret using e-views.